sure it's true. I think most people would agree Faze should win this. But, um, or yeah, this early on into the season, it's just kind of surprising how well Faze are just playing straight out. Like, mm. they have kind of every excuse to just be a little bit worse. But they just, they aren't. Simply not. They're just not. You think Inferno could maybe be one of the factors that skew those stats a little more yeah. in favor? Oh, yeah. for sure. That's, that's true. It's just that, um, that information comes so late, you know, it's like, I think no matter what, it, it makes sense that phase would be favored. But yeah, Inferno will help that out. So we'll see what heroic. It's just we don't see him play Inferno that much. So let's see what happens. Ooh. Shush with a quick headshot and Kadian off the Raptors with one. But Bella, oh, it's Brokey. It's Brokey with the 2K. A man of few words, but a man of many kills. Plant in the back site and the retake gets going. Got no kit on the three players currently alive. Tess S going to try to swing it around short, and he wins that duel. So suddenly, Twist's feeling a little more isolated. He's got his best friend, Brokey, behind him. It's comfortable inside of the pit, especially with a gush like that. Twist knows he should win that duel, finishes the kill. Brokey to the clutch. 1v2 attempt versus Stown, who's now just running desperately towards Brokey. He knows it's got to be a quick kill, point blank, and he'll land that. But what about time? I don't know. Can he get it? I don't know. No. no, he's no kit. Okay. Yeah. So the bomb will go off. That'll be it. It'll be phase up around off the two entries. I think that's the, probably the most important part from Brokey with the three kills in total, of course. Clean tap on lane. Did an interview with Brokey um, on media day where I said, hey, Brokey, what'd you do on the break? And he said, nothing. And he didn't even say nothing. He just literally just didn't say anything. And then I was like, did you play CS? He's like, nope. Tried to play no CS nice on the break. I was like, oh, do you watch any demos? Like, nope, just try to get it out of my mind completely. I was like, okay, did you play Fortnite? And he goes, yep. And I was like, you didn't play Fortnite. And I was like, nope. And I was like, okay, so what did you do? No answer. So still to this day, which is three days later, have no idea what Brokey did on his break. No clue. But what we do know is whatever he did worked. <laughs> yeah, that it did. Didn't skip a beat. Ooh, shush. Runs up through boiler room, caught by Rops. At least he took one down before he dies. You played Roblox? Do you think I played Roblox? No, Brokey. Oh, Brokey. Not everything's about you. Sorry. <laughs> I thought you said you. Uh, I don't think so. I feel like Brokey's that kind of guy who plays anything other than Counter-Strike and just goes, shit game. Yeah. Switches back to CS. Just like owns it PUBG and then leaves. All right. Well, still... uh. Good situation for Heroic. Could be better. I mean, there's no one on the side, so Moda Smoke comes down, Arch Smoke comes down, and then it's kind of actually hard to get back into this. I think we're going to see those cascading over the site right now. Yeah. Drops. A little uncomfortable. Tessas actually getting away with the pistol kill just as Gabby does the same. We've got Twist and Brokey again in a 2vx, but this time they're outnumbered. Not quite outgunned, though. They equalize very quickly. Twist's keeping it clean as can be. And then Kadian's going to crawl up on short. Twists. Easy, does it? Nicely done. Very sharp. Mauled them right there. Could have lost it every single turn in that situation. They set up Robs to go for the kill, and then he didn't get his. But they still pulled it off. You seeing this Kadian uh, monitor angle? No. Bro. Is it tilted up? No. It's... Or yes, yes. It's tilted upwards. But, like, severely. You'll see. You'll see. We'll get it back. Like he's looking down at it. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's how it's, that's how you should have it. Uh, it looked it looked it looked more steep from oh, the other angle. I got you. Either I've been fooled or I lied to you guys, but it looked extreme. But yes, that is how it should be. Your eyes strain less when looking down. The running theory is because we're hunter gatherers. You would have been looking at the forest floor for thousands of years, trying to find berries and grubs. Roots. Probably lizards. Ants. No, that's the feud of the future. Feud of the future. <laughs> we like love eating bugs here in Europe. What kind? Caterpillars. <laughs> they have butterflies in Europe? I don't even know. <laughs> I haven't seen any. Nothing good, nothing good over here. 
Surely. You seen any monarchs flying around? No, those are North American. Yeah. And unfortunately, on the brink of extinction. You know, insects go extinct faster than any other creature on Earth at the moment. Fun fact. Or Good. scary fact. <laughs> really? yeah, yeah, get rid of yeah, them. Yeah, oh, man. All right. Two kills and Stown actually steals one right at the end. So I was thinking nothing noticeable or nothing notable, but nope, Stown with one at least. Coming off a big map from Stown. You tuned in earlier and you're like, oh, can't wait to watch Stown play. I think, oh, damn. Stown not doing great. Well, if you watched the last map, you saw Stown playing great. Lights out. Direct impact on the outcome of that match for sure. With his T side ace clutch and the start of that comeback. Two ops. So we kick off round number four. As the other value goes down. The goat hybrid. <laughs> Which I jokingly said about config. I'm gonna give that to Stown. Gets hit up by Kerrigan's frag. But stays ahead of the fire. Oh, that's a nice nade. Rops gets hit by it hard. From boiler into the other entrance of apartments. And they evacuate it. Kadian, ooh, tagged by the smoke grenade. That's going to give him a gap, maybe? Yeah, he sees the legs. Smidgen of an angle here to work with, but already two players across. Brokey has yet to join them. They, I think they heard it hit him. They seem wary of it. Yeah. Good kill from Shush at the very least. Yabby gets into the bomb site. Kadian won't be able to find a second because Kerrigan's so quickly there on the trade. It's down the second op of Heroic this round. Has lost track of Kerrigan, who's about to give him the old CT spawn wrap around. Damn, this is really interesting. Okay, we'll see how this pans out. It's oh. down. He drops a timing. He'll look back, and Kerrigan goes into library. They're clearly looking for each other, and oh, Stown misses his chance. But it still shows the intention that they're going to try to end A. Still two CTs in sight, but it's Tess also in CT spawn. So Robson reigns this time in the 2VX on A site, and Shush very neatly tidies up these last few kills. Shush has been pretty impactful so far this map. Definitely, and uh, Nuke as well had a big round for himself on the eco in the first half. I like how they peaked Kadian. This is a small thing, but Kadian on the arch angle looking into mid. Brokey peeks him with the op, and typically you wouldn't want to lose your offer, right? But with Kerrigan being closer, if Kerrigan peaks second and gets the trade, he also peaks with tempo and can get into CT. Whereas if Kerrigan peaked first and Brokey got the kill, he wouldn't be able to wrap Arch right away. Nope, no line up there. Yabby wants a little bit more. Good control for Heroic here on Banana, using three players to really establish it. But remember, that AK in the hands of Twists, capable. Oh, nice timing. They actually catch Stown trying to go for his jump. Man, they popped him instantly. Brokey has an op now. That's a big threat looming on the edge of this B site. Tessess waiting for the flash pop, comes wide. Gets a quarter of Brokey off, but now he's just entirely alone behind that new box. Kadian sprinting over through the CT spawn. Tess is going to hold for the time being. He's got a player encroaching close. Sure enough, Kerrigan point blank with the Tech-9. It's Kadian and Shush 2v4. Oh, very awkward. But Kadian finds an interesting kill. It still seems kind of unlikely that you can go for this, and Brokey finds one way in the back. And that is the value of picking up that off early. Ooh, and Kadian doesn't get out either. Rain's not going to give him the space. Ooh. So it doesn't come by way of twists, nor rops with the Galil, but Brokey yeah. finding the better timing and owning Stown top banana. Yeah, I don't know if they just call for the window flash just because, but they're trying to go through the smoke, and it's right when Stown's trying to set up. He gets into a position, almost hits a shot, and then when they get to the top of the banana, I think the awkward part is that the rotator gets killed first. And then with one player on the site, there's no flashes for him. And that makes it harder for him to fight for himself on quad. So I think FaZe consistently knew they were like winning every single kill. Nice 
nice timing on the spam, but it also takes 50 damage back the other way, so Stown just falls back alongside Tessus. Props the landlord up in the apartments, where he always be. Just raising the rent every month. Yeah, he would. He would. Min-maxing, bro. Yeah. Molly over top. That's going to make things uncomfortable for Shush. And Kadian blind as ever. But Shush holds on. Yeah, he, he puts out the on. fire. And then Kadian up above distracts the T's long enough for him to recover. Wow. And the, yeah, two kills apiece between him and Yabby. And they shut it down inside a middle. And the smoke is really nice with the little gap. So looks sketchy when Kadian couldn't help him out. But he had a smoke for himself. And they left this open. So they wanted to try to duel in this exact way. But maybe they were wrong that they wanted to. Now the CT side, giving a bit of runway, a little leeway. Rops single Desert Eagle. Good enough. A one. Ooh. Just, no one gets on this half wall. <laughs> yeah, this, this actually belongs to us. It's like the pyramids, you know, you're not supposed to climb on them. Yeah, it's damn tourists. Kadian's not going to let that little bit of damage stop him. Northstown coming around with the AK. There's an opening. Twists and Brokey grabbing guns. Getting it off. Trying to move in fast enough, but yeah, incendiary from Tess just takes all the wind out of their sails. Oof. Yeah, they cut off that rotation to Khan right there. That would have been it. But, you know, this is the value of taking B control this deep because no matter what, even if they lose it, they lost it so early, there was plenty of time for Tessus to make his way over. So now they're going to try to set up on both sides, make sure Banana is the last place that they can survive in. But Tessus is taking his time here. Or sorry, Yabby here is taking his time. And we'll see. There is, of course, the option to overextend and... Looks like he'll, he'll definitely not participate in that. Twist's offing. Let's see it. They believe there's a timing actually up middle because Yabby went around through alt. But now Yabby is flanking on Banana. Should be able to secure the bag. They fumble the run boost. Yabby getting closer and closer. He's going to be the end all to this one. Sees both and easy mow down here for Yabby. Nice patience on the flank. Buys time perfectly and heroic get by. Real good timing. So they've already got phase down to two ecos, even with phase on this lead. Quickly thinning it. Lots of aggressive plays down banana. They've been good and bad. Solo A setup out of the gate here for Heroic. Lots of emphasis on Banana and Stown. Ooh, his head just over top. The twists can't quite pop it. He burns in the fire instead. Had only a couple of chances. Call that pea meal bacon. You don't know what pea meal bacon is? No, I don't. Oh, you've heard of Canadian bacon, right? I've heard of the lies. What? <laughs> well, <laughs> they, you know, Canadian bacon. It's just, it's, it's normal, but. No, it's a different part of the pig. Oh. It's back bacon. It's healthier. So what... <laughs> I've heard of the lies. <laughs> well, yeah, you know what I mean. You know I what I'm referring to. I haven't seen it for myself. <laughs> Did you do your own research? A little jump spot from Stown. It's not much B control, so Kadian decides to head back over. Shush, love it. Pushes through the apartments. Finds FaZe fumbling around. Now they're going to emphasize that arch side instead. Three players up short. It's them versus Shush, and from the bicycle, he's going to get himself one and a lot of damage. Brokey, very low, stuck with that bomb. Kerrigan tries to redirect this, and it's just a shutdown from Heroic. So, just like Big, FaZe get a few rounds at the start of the half, and uh, then Heroic 
breaking through. Yeah, and they've got a nice temp. I mean, they're in a good cycle, I should say, with the buy save situation that keeps happening. And that was a kind of a low money. We saw one Galil come out on face. And they kind of put it to bed, so looking good. But this time, everyone has a deagle. Excellent. Not just Rob's. If there's any team that I'd like to see with five deegs, it's FaZe Clan. Kerrigan at the helm. Straight to the meat grinder. Three CTs set up for the top mid hold. Shush, just an absolute beast so far on this A site. 10 and 4 as he pads the stats versus Deagles. One kind of weakness as we've seen it is like fast false pops, but that's just not something FaZe has done. I just teams don't do that as much in general. But overall, they've been really heavy on mid almost every single time from bracket and from porch. Or sorry, from arch and from porch, or just all the bracket. Easy does it for Cadian. They're hoping that Heroic makes some kind of hyper-aggressive move, but Heroic just happy to lean back here. Great round for them to even just build this cash. You know that picture of Cadian bald? Yes. That was like Padian or whatever. Have you ever done ever used face app to make yourself bald? Nope. I heard that uh, I heard that uh, those apps are bad for you. Yeah, they download you. Yep. You're already out there. Get man. some kind of internet disease. You're literally famous on the internet. It's over for you. You're the say, first one to... I wouldn't say famous, but... <laughs> All right. Yeah. Tess has deep nade. Nice amount of damage there. Kerrigan's already down to 70. Pacing's looking quick, though, out of phase. How much faster do they need to go? Met by a dog pile of utility, and the bodies aren't far off. It's four out of the gate for Heroic on this A-side. Nice time flash from Shush. And they layered those, too. Tess S looking for a little bit more. Extending out, and Kerrigan, lower HP, but still sharp as ever. Kadian's gonna get that trade back. IGL on IGL action. Yabby's next up, and oh, that's Rops. Just popped inside the boiler room. That is not an easy guy to kill in his favorite doorway. Very sharp shooting here from Heroic, and it's the double aggressions that are paying off the most, especially versus the bracket control. We're seeing FaZe lose the rounds at this point of the map a number of times already. Oh, it's Ormans. who gets here first. This smoke is actually very bad for the T since it's so poopy, yeah. Yabby, the executioner, slides behind both, and sure enough, him and Shush. So FaZe back into the economic dumps, but early damage. Here it is, a banana test. Roki tagged up to 10 HP, almost dead. Grenade's gonna find him, but twists point blank with the tech nine. Rob's kind of doing his own thing through the apartments. We'll see if he can get some kind of a crack into this A site, maybe. Ooh, Tessa's gonna run the risk. Should be the flash from Yabby, but it's not enough. Twist having upgraded into the M4, pulls a second player off this B site, now man advantage phase. Ooh, this is not where you want to let them get back their money. Now, of course, Heroic's money is still good, but uh, FaZe were intending to buy next round, but they have the half buy going on. Jabby back here on quad, up to the plate. Let's see what you can do. Tries oh. to get out. There it is. Rops finding his kill towards A site, but the others have all committed to the B, which could have been costly had Jabby been able to do much, but empty-handed. Multiple players here for Heroic not getting the kills that they needed to in order to get through these armored pistols. Yeah, I mean, definitely one of the strongest advantages of FaZe Clan. It's like, uh, again, I'll kind of say this again, but looking at the top 20 list right now, it feels like one of the first times where a team is this dominant and like the best team in the world, but doesn't have a top five player technically. Uh, in terms of the statistics, but they probably have the highest average rating per player in the top 20 of any team between, you know, all the players in your screen, right? I mean, for a while it was like, okay, twist broke you Rob's core, but rotating door of S tier performances. Heroic streak comes to an end. Fate still playing catch up.
Oh, blind. That was money. There goes Twists. He's had too much impact in that last round with the Tech 9 into the M4. Kadian's going to put him on ice for round 12. Heroic kind of remind me of an ant farm with the way that they rotate. Hear me out. <laughs> the way that they rotate around because, I mean, first of all, they're always working together. But they really just all feel like the same player sometimes with their aggressions. All right. Really close together and pushing at the same speed. It's always going as well. Like, One when do you ever mind. see an ant stand still? Never. That's actually a great analogy. So. That's why they pay you the big bucks. Kerrigan. Not coming through that smoke just yet. Can't with fire on the other end. No rotate, though, out of Heroic. Kadian and Javi still just floating around towards Arch. And he that's deserve that, man. Be a little something. Stown up close gets shredded. Tess from New Box back into the dark corner. He's got him kind of stalling out for a second. And that flash bang. Oh. oh, it's supposed to blind him all. Brokey recovers vision, catches the kill through the smoke, goes Javi. And this time inside B site, he's got it. That was clutch. Consistency in you tight. All at half here so far from Heroic, despite the slow start. They're going to get aggressive. Two man set up in the apartments. Feels like it's been somewhat underplayed from both sides. We've had Shush slide through with a kill on the flank every once in a while, but oh, damn, poor Rops. Rounds the corner straight into the scope of Kadian. Here comes Jabby. But as he goes through that smoke, he's now left Arch open and Kerrigan slides past. Interesting situation here. He's holding for something. Rain point blank gets the kill. It's Jabby's chance in sight to just upend this what? one. Two kills. Somehow denying twists close on boxes. Crossfire set makes things hard for Brokey. Ooh. Shush back into the kill feed okay. and a big round from Jabby. That's the that's the Jabby they hired. That's the one they're looking for. I don't even know how I got that second kill. The swing around default. That's supposed to be him dead right there. Turns it into three. Well, it's a clutch move. This is the best map I've watched uh, with him in the New Jersey so far. Rain alive for only a millisecond after. Wow. That's a great recovery. Yeah. Good thing Twists was low at least. Damn, Heroic making a run for that coveted 10 round CT side. Yes, sir. Stown's not going to give him a chance to breathe, but as he tries to go over the logs, Kerrigan kicks him out from beneath him. Frag grenade flies by. That's going to tag Twists. Ooh, nicely timed, Kerrigan. Tess is still standing in the open, looking for another fight. Oh no, playing with grenades. He's got a rotator nearby in Cadian, but just that P250, the knives are out. Twist's got the kill. Make sure they're dead. A little double tap action for phases sixth. Oh, I didn't like the hesitation there from Tessas because they just didn't have much to work with, and they got that kill so fast, and they've just been nothing but relentless on Banana. So I'd say phase have probably been overall a bit better on Banana in this half so far, like the way they've run rounds, but Heroic have been way better everywhere else. That hall setup and the one time it happens, they get the kill no problem on brackets a number of times with their crossfire. You know, between Yabby, Shush, and uh, Kadian's op presence all over the map, it's all been working out very well. And I think that reflects very accurately in the score line here. But FaZe pull it back with this one win. And again, showing their strength on Banana. Just their ferocity. But, uh, you know, the safest option there for Tassas was to, you know, smoke that from safety and then pick up the smoke or smoke it right away, but not kind of has it walk out and smoke and try to grab it at the same time. Yeah, played a dangerous game and here's his reward. Also awkward was this. Jumping Cadian with a pistol out, getting stabbed in the guts by Brokey, but like you said, best performance you've seen in the New Jersey, 17 and six at the moment. Shush not too far behind. One round left on the T side of phase, and they set their sights on top banana quickly. Kerrigan on the entry, Kadian ready to hold this back. Nade's not gonna be a bother. Stown's actually pressed close along the wall as well, so Kadian's gonna take a shot, tuck in. Ooh, actually decides to try and press through smoke, and Kerrigan keeps it crisp. Three other players here, though. 
Putting those smokes down, ensuring phase don't come through just yet. But they're leaving. Ooh. Yeah, they're they're leaving. They're doing it kind of noisily. And I mean, look at this phase just run through. They they've been loving just getting banana as fast as possible. I don't know why this is a surprise for heroic. Look at Tessas. Talking about surprises. So close to the bomb plant, nearly denies it. Rops comes through with two kills top mid. Nice lurk. Tessas taking Twist's knees out. It's a man advantage for FaZe in a post plant to try and close this T side. Pistol, not quite enough. But there's the mow down from Tessas. Regains vision, confirms that Brokey's pinned in this corner. And now that CT smoke blocks off all that's left from FaZe. They're both going to try to spam through. Tessas looking for the stick. A second, and he's got it. Ooh. Down to the wire as the bullets fly by, and FaZe just can't keep up. But obviously, they want this damn win. You can't just let Heroic lead by three. But that is the situation we find ourselves in as the Danes take to the T side, looking to top group C here at the Blast Fall Groups. The power of FaZe, they still have uh, favored odds regardless of a three-round deficit. Yeah. We get a clumping of Heroics players outside of the B site. Majority of phase in position here with Rain and Twist as the pillar's back site. Kerrigan sits on top of them. Trying to keep this bomb site close. Flash into the middle of the site. That's going to allow for Twist to keep vision forward. He pops Jabby first. Second kill is Tessas. And now Brokey takes the boost. So an added variable. Very nice twist. Wow. Four kills from the back of the site. Ice, cold, hold. Most North Americans are great from this spot. Iconic moments. That's all we got. Yes. How long does Twist have to play in a European team before we can no longer lay claim to him? A couple of lifetimes. A couple of lifetimes, okay. Always one of us. Nicely done. Clean headshots to kick it off, and then that fourth one. Exactly. We're all gonna come back, try and bounce in quickly with the force. They don't wanna see that lead slip, but. Nature of the beast. A little underhanded flash from Stown tries to run that Tech 9 up. Rain, SMG out. I think we'll see better, actually better CT side on Banana specifically. So, we, you know, looking back on what we just saw, better ways of dealing with rushes and pop through smokes like we just watched from Heroic trying to do that. But being a little bit more patient about actually taking logs control and throwing that in only sometimes. They got a god flash, they got uh, two more smokes, and they try to bait out some utility, but they've already attracted the talent of a third phase member who started to peel back. He doesn't have a flash for them as well, so good flash. Oh my god, Rain's so blind. And he loses Kerrigan before he really regains vision. Brokey looking for the boosts. Oh, they cut down Rain from underneath. Wow. Damn, heroic. They just burst past Kerrigan. It looked like Rain wanted to fight that, but just blind. Yep. Stuck in smoke. That's what a... God flash is really important. So they locked that down with the two extra smokes. They had they had resources actually to make a second exec happen. So things don't go well at first, but they make the most of it. That is a huge round of win. First to touch 10. And that first little moment where Brokey looked like he was coming to add himself as the third piece of the behold. He but didn't then have a flash though. Kind of like stutter steps it. He's kind of like not useful without utility, I think, in that spot. He only had a decoy if I'm reading it correctly. What'd you call him? No, I wouldn't. I, okay. I wouldn't even. No, it wouldn't. There's no. I was gonna bring the heat and name some other player who. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Almost got I'm, baited. I'm better than that. Look at this one. Just finishing off what Cadian started. Little pocket AKs rushing into the B site. Excellent way for Heroic to maintain that three-round lead. Have an economy advantage, too. Potential turning point early in this T side. Got Twist's head stacked on top of Rain, and they're starting to seize a bit of control here on Banana.
Awesome. Ooh, nice spot, Rops. This little treehouse again. No girls allowed. Shuts down the boilerplate, and that's going to stun Heroic for a second. It's been quite some time since they had any eyes on Banana, so now that it's no longer smoke deep, Stown starts to carve out some control. Sometimes these CTs are settling for just up, playing up here. Now, MP9 in front, I mean, it's a good spot for it. And twist in the back insurance policy. But first player gets cleared out, and it's down. Oh, takes twist out as well. Double. Brokey trying to get over. And Stown hugs the wall up until tree. Oh, and he heard him use every single bullet, falling back on the save. Stown is literally hunting them down now. Oh my god. This guy's bloodlust. Unquenchable. Of course, that's going to keep Jabby on high alert. So they're going to go ahead and try to deny this save from FaZe, which would be fantastic. We know how much they came in, invested everything on the line here for FaZe, and they are surrounded inside this A site. Big moment here from Kerrigan. Yeah, that'll alleviate a bit of pressure. You can see the other guys start to walk back a bit. That's what's going to allow for the save. Critical moment there for Kerrigan to just take off the pressure. Sure. Yeah, they'll definitely collapse on the site if if not for it. So, well, um, <laughs> new bomb radius. It's huge. He just man. died in library. Yeah, he died in library. <laughs> yeah. From a B. No way. <laughs> Yeah, I've heard it's completely changed the map, like, for the people scrimming and stuff, just figuring out where you can die from, just, like, how far you have to go. And I think a bigger one on Nuke would make it interesting, just so you couldn't save, like, above bomb sites or... Yeah, it, it's true. There There's are other maps that I where they're not like. big enough. Yep. Yeah, but uh, two. I think for Inferno, when... At first, it's like, who asked for this? But you look at it and you're like, this helps make the map a bit better, for sure. That's some good, good HE damage here on Stown. Hefty. That damage could come through crucially as Twists and Rain are only on the USPs. So those who didn't survive the last round left with bare bones. Oh, nice kill from Brokey. Very quick from the corner, but obviously can't get away because Kadian's locked in on it. Now that exposes the issue that is rain on the USP. Smoke will give him a chance to grab the gun, though. Oh, huh. I wonder what happens from this position. I mean, we still got three on A and two of the guns. Kerrigan's alone on the other side, but we're getting to a point in the round where it might be hard to go back. They still could, though. They still could. If they do. Wow, they're grouping halls. Interesting. This should not work, actually. This should be really good for phase with this setup. But there is one USP on duty by this door. Oh. Point blank. Twist tries to run in to grab that gun, but more bodies there in position. They try to redirect. Could they catch Kerrigan in mid? There is still time. Kerrigan's going to have to deliver with the Galil. Shush comes around the corner. Easy pickup. Shush is next. Oh, look at this. Katie, and he'll get the trade frag, but now 20 seconds scrambling for that bomb site. It's him versus Rain. An unarmored 5 and 14 Rain, but caught in the open because time is what makes the difference. Plays Kadian's hand right into FaZe's favor. Yeah, we've seen a few important players of all time to have that. You know, it's kind of fortunate to have had that um, chance to do it. But. But I think what we've realized in this past year was it was really never about how many good players you could surround with him if he himself couldn't have some baseline level of performance. Now he's out here out fragging Rops and Rain. Major MVP Rain. Down, tasked with finding the biggest impact out of the gate, but AK exchanges hands, and now it's Tess's job. That's crazy. 16 health? 60 health, I would have held on to that still. <laughs> I'm like, nah, nah, I'm not there. I'm good, bro. <laughs> I got this. We'll see what else Down can offer. Now relegated to the Tech 9. They get top banana control, at least. And they silently walk it back. So we'll try that A hit again, and Twist just got pulled off of this. 
Brookie will rotate to within smokes and Twist can pick up. And I think it's understood. It's a handshake here for Rock. They can't really throw any kind of crazy fake. So they'll try to do something funny here. CT spawn under question. Yeah. Ooh, drive by from Stown. Who needs the AK? Kerrigan. Nice shot. Chopping off his head. And then Brokey not able to deliver from inside sight. So Rock suddenly more pressure put on him, but he stops that bomb at the seven second mark. And Tess just not going to be able to find much. Oh. He'll catch Rops on the headshot peak. But as time expires, Tess needing to make sure he stays alive. No one's going to be able to clear him out. A chance to go sprinting at that A site, but FaZe survived the test. Yeah, nice nice effort. I, maybe a bit ambitious to throw the CT wrap smoke and need to hit A with the amount of time left over, but with the pistols, even just getting kills is kind of nice. But, yeah. Now we're getting into the, the deep end here. The 9 to 11 score line. Phase with the last two, and another mixed buy for Heroic that they get the chew through. Sir, last 10 rounds of the map. BO1 only for the top seed of Group C. Jabby's down beneath Rops. Haven't seen, you know, too much hyper aggressions from Rops on these lurks. But here's the utility usage, so. I mean, Rops peeks like he's gonna die in real life if he messes oh, it up. Oh, you didn't see that. Should still know what's up. Oh my god, gets dinked for 95. Youch. But now they're like, okay, well, we got a pit player low. Let's go get this guy. Tech 9 to the teeth, twists, gets aggressive. Drive by from Shush. Who has an AK, but was using the Tech 9. Respect. Okay. Can't run and shoot with one of those guns. <laughs> Fair point. Now what's left of Heroic, this three-man grouping. And let's see, Brokey. No utility, but he is fully healthy. He comes into support at Rain. Wow. Well, a lot of Kill pressure here on Rain. Yeah. Not his best game ever, but a good moment to add some to the kill feed. Now we're talking Rops on five, Rain on ten. Flash doesn't get him the better of Shush who has found three kills this round alone. And we saw Shush with a multi-kill oh, versus big on Nuke with a headshot to the back of Kerrigan. I mean, he thought he was going to get away with that spam. Stown is standing right in front of him. I feel like using all your ammo in that situation is uh, it's definitely a good way to elicit a push. Of course, low numbers, so he didn't think they would go for it, but they did, and Heroic will Breaking pick up through. another one. Yeah, they'll break through on in an unlikely situation. FaZe were not even done catching up here. Oof, and Stown survives it. Wow. That's an X-Factor round out of Heroic. It is. And again, it comes from Shush. It is. There's, our, there's been a number of half and low buys from both teams now that have been converted. So full credit to the individual level of Heroic. I was talking about phases, but they can keep up. Oh, just blue card that. It's well done. And a B9 and a Deagle to pair with two M4s. Heroic being shown the door to victory here. Just a matter of getting through it. It's down quickly dispatching of Kerrigan. So one of the M4s out instantly. Yeah. Poor Rain whittled down to 52 HP. So a little creeping crawl here from Heroic. And they're going to play it on Arch side. They're going to meet Brokey's Deagle. Doesn't quite hit the mark. Smokes down as well, so they're looking to envelop this A site. Twists. He gets spammed through on that library smoke. He at least offers a smoke grenade into the bomb site for his teammates to work with, and Rain, sure enough, finding Shush through smoke. Keeps it 4v4. Health advantage heroic, gun advantage heroic. Minute six. Yabby point blank. Oh, Robs, he does damage, but Yabby comes out alive. Twist's gonna be blindsided by Tess tucked in moto. Brokey found out in backsight, so step by step, Heroic just gathering all the kills they need for an easy 13th round. That was quite a nice search. Everything went well. You could see everybody alive got a kill here for Heroic. So, as they say, ain't no sitting at the table if you're bringing nothing to it. That seems fair. Yeah. 
I was wondering if if the correct play was to bring the. I mean, it's easy, you know, for me, Captain Hindsight, to say don't run the M4 down mid when you've got, you know, a couple of SMGs in a round that you're kind of trying to win. Yeah. But very comfortable lead right yeah. now. Plus, just USPs in this one, 14-9. That's an excellent spot that Heroic are going to find themselves in. On a map where we didn't really know if they'd be able to bring the heat. But that Javi and Shush CT side certainly helped. A site locked down. And now this T side's been excellent. But oh. apparently USPs are enough. And then Rain couples this with an M4 kill out of alt mid. He's going to go for that boiler oh. peak. Drops another. And some damage. And the T's have an incentive to stay here with the guns, but the CTs also kind of want to be close to it. Ooh. There's an alt push coming in. I mean, this is going to be hard to figure out if you're heroic. They've got quite a puzzle on their hands. We did just say that Cadian's a good caller. No doubt about that one. How do you get yourself out of this 2v4? Feeling surrounded. It's going to clear right. Love the position from Brokey. Scares the hell out of Cadian and kills Shush. Oh. Two USP frags coming out of phase. We just tried to paint this picture that Heroic had an open door for 14. And then phase sprinkle in a little X factor. And if Cadian had 100 health, I'd say maybe. Yeah, but... the dink, it really stings now. Damn, Brokey getting dirty outside that library. You know, his next closest teammate is miles away. So if Cadian susses this out, there's a chance for the plant and we can go from there. But it doesn't seem like it's on his mind that someone could be in pool. <gasps> there it is. He grabs it. Miss shot. And bomb pack can come in. There's no op here. He does have a Molotov. Yep. You know what? This isn't impossible. Oh. It's 16 health. It, if he wins it, it'd be massive. Let's see if he can do it. Katie, and that brain is just pulsing. He's pieced together as much as he can. This angle is going to give him a good chance at just taking Rops' head clean off, but he needs both kills, and he can't take a single bullet back. And that oh. first shot from Twist, <laughs> right between the eyes. Yeah. Big pickup from FaZe. Yeah. Okay. Nicely done from Twist. Give no shot. Clean kills and some good ideas and some good use of the map, you know, everyone working alone, no utility, using, in fact, Heroic's utility against them, and even Brokey holding oh, the CD. sweatiest off angle in CT spawn to get that amount of damage and the kill. And he goes to type in chat, take a shower, kid. <laughs> he knows how nasty that one was. All right, then. Game on. Felt like FaZe were going down with a whimper. USPs bring the bang. Heroic hoping to buck back with the two Mac 10s and a quick apartments control. We saw them go for that one round where they clumped three players in here, but right now it's just the two. Tess escorts Jabby, and then they decide to set their sights towards Banana. Rain gets just nailed by that frag. Maybe the aggressive positioning's not what they want right now. seen Heroic use a very similar setup, but this time no high position, which is really important in co in case they smoke lane, because if they do smoke lane, there's no way you can even cover arch right now, right? And they can't actually see, I think it's hard from Twist off the corner of the porch. Maybe he does have a little bit of space like Shush did in the first half. But right now the rotations are extremely slow for phase, no matter how early they do it. So a lot of this comes down to the old guard here, Kerrigan and Rain. Mac 10 so ready to gun them down. Twist's gonna get aggressive. That just feeds a frag to Jabby. And they're not gonna peel back from that B site. Hits coming through. Easy does it. Tess Mac 10 killing off what was left of Rain. Poor Kerrigan doesn't offer us much. And now suddenly it seems like Heroic's winning ways continue. Uh, FaZe looked, a looked very stiff. Looked very stiff there. I mean, they committed extremely hard early in the round to a setup that had an enormous hole and had very slow rotations and never moved from them and then played two very standard spots in the B site. No flash support, no information, in fact. That was not very like phase, I feel like, from the rest of this game if we want to compare it. So I'm not surprised Heroic went off of that. They just chilled on Banana. They let Yabi sit in mid. And because of FaZe's nervousness, they ran down mid 
a little bit early to try to flank Banana. And uh, that was an easy frag for Yabby. So well done from him. Just being patient, but not surprised that Heroic picked that up. Easy this one was. He said no, no place for information. That's the closest thing to it. Oh, Kerrigan oh, inside the smoke. Not a, not a good look here to defend against match point. No, wait, we pull one more try to do that, I should say, before I get ahead of myself. Kerrigan on the MP9. And Brokey up on the op. Brokey posted. Kadian sending the warning shot downtown. Oh, Rob skins. Oh, wait, by the back of alt. Yep. Oh my god. Alt mid wall bang into the apartment to catch Rops. That's a big opening. One of his best maps yet for Heroic. He's definitely cooled off and let his teammates catch up, but look at the kill differential for Heroic. I mean, from 16 to 20. Yeah. And we know how, you know, leaps and bounds Jabby was ahead of his teammates. This is all of Heroic coming together to take down one of the world's best. On a map where, again, you kind of thought odd sway phase, but Ooh. now Kerrigan. He, yeah. Tough this, spot. This is interesting. Okay, okay, in this position, you can pull the pin on both positions. But we can have Twist get his kill and fall off, and Kerrigan push forward and take over lane control if things go right. Their eyes and their minds are on Arch, because if this gets cracked open, that's where they'll have to react by getting back some different space and moving into new spots. And it might actually be a play that works, even if it's pretty risky. There it is, pressure on Kerrigan, but he's not going to see anybody. It's Tess alone in the apartments. Twists, good off angle for the arch wrap. There'll be a question around when does Tess come out to help and oh my god, Twist, he gets nothing. Shush just tears through both. Couple of clean headshots, the bomb's planted on A and that is heroic. 15 rounds secured, five match points to top this group. They were happy, Yabi got the kill on Robs at the beginning of the round. That was they it. Were, that's it. They were. They made up their mind at that point. They immediately started organizing towards the A site. Oh, After this, clean. at a minute 37, I mean, every single bullet. Yep. Smell from Robs. He's done that to yep. a couple of people in the past, you know. And so it comes down to this hold, and they just needed everything here. But Kerrigan blind off this play. I thought Kerrigan was going to push towards lane and uh, twist drop mini, potentially giving them a chance. But either way, um, no one got anything. So... That's match point well earned. Second big map in a row from Yabby. Shush as well. Mr. Consistency today. And straight to force overtime from phase. Wow, utility damage. Amazing from Heroic. Still into the uh, phase of CT side, of course, so they have distinct advantage there. I've already played 15 rounds for themselves, but this could be the last one. Kerrigan's Moody looking down the barrel of an MP9 once again. Ooh, tries to run it around. Okay, this, uh, shall we put the bow on top? Ah, haven't seen Heroic drop a position like this in some time, but it's still possible. Damn. A three-round lead at the end of the half for Heroic. They maintained it. Every time FaZe got closer and closer, Heroic with the rebounds. A couple of B-site falters for FaZe. Even despite that wild oh, round well. where we get to see Brokey and Twists pick up USP kills, it is still not enough. Not enough to inject the energy nor success into the veins of FaZe. And a great day for Stown as well. And a great day for Heroic. Yeah. Very true. Starting the season well. Maybe we could call this a real uh, Yabby debut. You know, not Cologne. It was too soon. Sure. Yeah, yeah that's right. fair. Yeah. Needed the summer off. Like you said, probably played all summer. Yeah. Made sure to sharpen his sword. And we've seen it. Just deleting rocks through the apartments last round. Keeping him occupied here in round 26. The final round of this map of Inferno by the looks of things. A 2v5 retake, far too much to ask. Off gets up close. Wait on, oh, hold on. 
Rookie catches two off guard. There's one more player close. His teammate's trying to come sprinting over because Brokey scares them all, but then he gets deleted. 